The Vancouver Fire Department recently acquired a new boat. Years in the planning, this multi-purpose quick response vessel vastly improves the abilities of how Vancouver Fire can respond in emergencies. This boat here is, is more of a work platform instead of a traditional fire boat that supports any number of different responses we might have, whether it be a fire response, drowning response, a boater needs assistant type response, hazardous materials or you know, chemicals or oil in the river. The boat is 46 feet long, can run in three feet of water, and is fitted with the latest technology, including radar, charting, a depth sounder, and a FLIR heat sensor camera. The boat doesn't have a conventional props, they have a jet system to give us maneuverability. So at low RPMs, we can maneuver the boat and keep on station. So it makes it easy for making rescues and the close quarter operations next to vessels. This boat, we could pull it up close to shore, so the bow of it comes up on the shore and the front of it will lower down and allow us to either walk on and off or take equipment on and off. It also allows us to be able to lower it down when it's out in the water and, and more easily help people out of the water that might be in it or support operations that might be out in the water. One of the key features on this is to be able to pump uh, hydrant lines and we should be able to supply up to about 3,500 GPM and that's gallons per minute, that we should be able to supply three engines with water in case we have a major event. Funding for the $1.6 million fire boat was entirely through a federal port security grant. This was part of a regional effort to support emergency response from Astoria to Lewiston. So when we wrote the grant, we wrote it for three boats, one for Vancouver, um, one for Clark County Fire and Rescue, one for Astoria. The goal being that instead of buying one huge boat that's a traditional fire boat, that we buy smaller, quicker boats that could get to an incident and then other boats that would be able to come and support what that response might be. When there is a call for a water response, an in-service Vancouver Fire Department engine staff will operate the boat. The federal grant covers the cost of training. There has been a learning curve going from the previous 17-foot boat to the capabilities and procedures of operating the new quick response vessel. With the spring weather, it's been very challenging for us to train, and we enjoy that because it gives it the more difficulty in order to accomplish the tasks that we might be faced in the future. We hope to have the boat operational later in the summer. We'll have limited operation during the earlier part of the summer as we go through our training scenarios. There are two upcoming opportunities, both at Vancouver Landing, to see the new fireboat Discovery, named after Captain George Vancouver's ship. First is the christening ceremony at 10.30 a.m. Friday, May 16. The other is the next day, Saturday, May 17, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Heart Health and Water Safety Fair. The Columbia River is a big recreational area. It's also a significant economic response. We have a number of ships, barges, traffic that goes up and down the river that goes all around the world. And being able to support that kind of commerce in the Columbia River and protect it is an important asset for the city of Vancouver itself and the region as a whole to have. For more information on the new Vancouver Fireboat Discovery, visit the city's website at cityofvancouver.us boat.